On the 19th of September 1991, in the Alps bordering Austria in Italy, two men discovered a body. Believing it to be recently deceased, they notified the local authorities. By the 24th of September, it was clear this was no ordinary corpse. After a full genome was done on his DNA, scientists were able to trace direct descendants, one being the Vaughan family of Cheshire, linked through their mitochondrial DNA, passed through the female line, undiluted through the centuries. Some Corsicans and Sardinians share a common ancestor with him. The body was dated to 5,300 years old, the oldest known natural human mummy. He was dubbed Utsi, named after the terrain where he was found. The remains had a full layer of skin. He had lived until the age of 45 and was 5 foot 3 inches tall. He had 61 tattoos all over his body, thought to be points for acupuncture. Teeth were worn away from eating coarse grains. When his stomach contents were examined, scientists could tell he had consumed a mid-altitude level meal due to the pollen contents found in the grain. He has brown eyes, his brown hair had been cut just before his death. He was lactose intolerant and had a genetic disorder for increased risk for coronary heart disease and hardening of the arteries. He carried a copper axe, which would have been a status symbol in his culture, a deer skin quiver which carried 14 arrows. The bow had been smeared in fat to preserve its flexibility in such harsh climate conditions. And his coat, belt, leggings, loincloth and shoes, all made from different types of leather. His shoes were waterproof, with a bearskin bottom, deer hide on the top, tree bark netting at the back, and grass for padding. And he had a flint knife and a grass woven sheath. In 2011, his face was reconstructed from his skull to produce his likely appearance. It is thought he could have been climbing the Alps and was shot with an arrow in the back. <laughs>